Hello, my name is Jesper Carlsen. I present this video pitch of our work, Multi-Vehicle Motion Planning for Social Optimal Mobility on Demand, which provides a scalable solution for the motion planning problem for a fleet of autonomous vehicles servicing demands in a road network, while at the same time adhering to a set of road rules. The road rules and demands are encoded in SEL tail with associated priority, and are of the form, pick me up at this location, drive me to a supermarket, and finally drive me home and at the same time keep a 50 mph per hour speed limit. The vehicles operate in a road network which is captured as a hierarchical model described by the vehicle dynamics, a high level abstraction of roads and intersections, and the road segments the vehicles traverse. Here we consider the motion planning problem that occurs when several vehicles prevent each other from following their route optimally. This means that in our hierarchical model, we focus on multi-vehicle motion planning problem in the road segments, with the aim to reach a compromise leading to social optimal. This can be seen as an extension of previous work done in constructing a minimum violation SAL tail or T-star planning to the multi-agent domain. In this case, we have three vehicles, yellow, green and blue. The yellow and green vehicle wants to arrive in the rightmost intersection, and the blue vehicle wants to arrive in the leftmost intersection. They have to avoid the construction zones illustrated by the signs. Each vehicle has their nominal trajectory already computed using the aforementioned approach. However, as you can see, if they were to continue on their path, it would result in a collision signified by the red region in the image. We could look for a joint feasible trajectory for all vehicles in the segment. However, this solution is exponential with respect to the number of vehicles, and therefore not tractable. What we propose to do instead is to provide a scalable solution to this problem using what we call bubble spaces. In this case, we construct a bubble space, which is in fact a small sub-region of the road segment, and we let the lead vehicles, in this case vehicle 1 and 2, perform joint planning in this bubble space. This joint plan ensures collision freedom, and at the same time minimizes the social cost. The remaining vehicles, in this case vehicle 3, has to adapt their trajectory to avoid collisions with the previously considered vehicles. This method promotes scalability while maintaining a social optimum for the network. For those of you who are interested in hearing the details of algorithm, I look forward to hearing from you and discuss this in the upcoming interactive sessions. Thank you.